Are you ready for Reggie's corner, Brian? Oh yeah. Let's oh, yeah. lift the That's... mood up and go to yeah, Reggie's no, corner. We'll well, now, you know, sometimes that happened. No, this actually, I got a letter, um, and this was not a recent passing, but it was something we talked about here on the show a few weeks ago uh, on Reggie's Corner. I'm pretty sure it was. Sam from Montana wrote, remember we were discussing feline AIDS, cat AIDS. And I think you brought it up for some reason. And I said, is that, <laughs> is that a thing? And then you were Googling it and et cetera. Why did I bring that up? <laughs> I don't remember now. It's been lost to history or potentially yeah. one of the listeners who pays more attention to what we say than we do can bring this to light and shed a little information on it. But anyway, Sam from Montana, and that is his real name, damn you, says, I found out it was a real thing when I adopted my best friend, Spice. His nickname was Mr. a little over six years ago. I had recently been released from a halfway house because I was a shit kid and had to learn a lesson and had moved to a new town where I didn't know anybody and my closest family was over a hundred miles away. I live in Montana where a tumbleweed is your closest neighbor. So I needed a companion. I was going to adopt another cat when I was told that Mr. really needed a home. I met him at the vet the next day and he took right to me. Uh, come to find out he was to be euthanized the day I adopted him. Uh, we became inseparable over the next five years and formed a bond that I've never had with a cat before. Uh, but they had the vet had told him about Spice's condition, and he says, I knew he wouldn't I wouldn't have him forever as he was five when I adopted him, and the FIV shortens cats' lifespans much like it does with people. The fall before last, his health started deteriorating and I almost lost him. Brought him home after a costly vet bill, but he required IV fluids and developed kidney problems. I managed to buy eight more months' time with him until last May he got sick again, and unfortunately he was on his eighth life. But feline cat AIDS is a thing, and Sam, we hate to hear about Mr. Spice, but... No. What? He didn't say his name was Mr. Spice. He said his name was Spice and Mr. Well, was his nickname. Well, that's why I said Mr. Oh, you don't have to call him Mr. Oh, come on. He literally said his name is not Mr. Spice. He said it's Spice and Mr. is his nickname. Well, all right, Spice, a.k.a. Mr. There you go. We hate to hear about Spice, a.k.a. Mr. Or Mr., a.k.a. Spice. Or if you want to do abbreviated, Mr. Spice. Oh! You doesn't got to call him. Sam, we're sorry you live in Montana also. Um, And one more here real quick. Um, Where did that come from? Well, if somebody's got a feel for the guy, right? What's wrong with Montana? What's right with Montana? Ted Turner. Is the... He's the only one in Montana, besides Sam. Well, he owns most of it. Now that Mr. Spice is gone. No, Spice, a.k.a. Mr. Well, Tomas, a.k.a. Tomas, from Portugal, sent an email in, and he said it would mean the world to me if you could mention my dog Max during Reggie's, Reggie's Corner. Our beloved Max passed away a year ago due to old age, but today, the day that Tomas was writing the email, he would have been 19 years old, so he lived to be 18. Uh, being an only child and a shy 8-year-old at the time, I struggled making friends growing up, and when my father brought him home, the runt of the litter, I swore to protect him and give him shelter. And Max brought me happiness and comfort when I needed it the most. We did everything in our power for him to have a good life in our tiny but humble home. He was my best friend and a family member, and everyone loved our Max. So, Tomas, we're sorry to hear about Max, but what a what a life. 18 years old, being the 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 star of the show, the uh bell of the ball, the hit of the party. You wish you could live a life like that, Brian Last. Sounds like my life. I believe the bell of the ball, but I all right. Um, and one more from Ray from Cleveland. Had to be a guy from Cleveland. It doesn't have to call me Ray. Well, yeah, I ain't going to call him much more after I... Let, let me just tell you what Ray 
is writing me here. If you've read the writing that Ray's written, you'll know that it's really not well-written writing. Actually, you could call him Ray, now that I think about it. That was one of the names you were allowed to call him. Yeah. That was the well, first see, one. Yeah, that was the first one. You had a hard time sifting through all those. You couldn't even get past the first one. See, you don't have to call him Mr. Johnson. Why, you could call him Ray, or you could call him Jay, or you could call him Ray J, or you could call him Raymond J, or you could call him Raymond J. Johnson Jr., but you doesn't got to call him Johnson. He doesn't say you can't call him Mr. Johnson, though. That's interesting, an interesting little twist we never thought of before. Well, that's because he was friends with Mr. Tibbs. All right, from Ray from Cleveland. <laughs> okay, yeah. I am a newer listener from Cleveland, Ohio. Well, fuck you, Ray, because listen to this. This horse shit here. On a recent episode of the Jim Cornette Experience, Jim said that the only good tarantula is a dead tarantula and that tarantulas were not welcome to be featured in Reggie's Corner. I recently got involved in the tarantula-keeping community. <laughs> what is that? What? I don't know, but they need to be on a federal watch list. And he goes on to say, and I was disappointed <laughs> to hear these comments. While I understand that spiders aren't everyone's cup of tea, yeah. and I know that there isn't the same bond between them and their owners like that between dogs or cats and their owners, it still has been a recent joy in my life getting to provide care to a pet again after not having any for several years. I hope that Jim reconsiders and that when my eight-legged friends eventually cross the Rainbow Bridge, that they could be featured in Reggie's Corner. Let me explain something to you, Ray. You're lucky you didn't give me your exact street address and I may be able to find you if you don't use ExpressVPN what? And if I do, your eight-legged friends are crossing that fucking bridge at a high rate of speed. They'll be burning rubber across that rainbow. Tarantulas, the what? joy. What are you saying? You're going to go there and kill his animals? I'm going to kill them. <laughs> no, don't say, say that. I'm no. going to stomp them dead. You're going to stomp on them. That's going to be your method. I'm going to stomp them. I'm going to run over them. I'm going to fucking back up and drive over them again. I'm going to spray them with a can of Raid. I'm going to set fire to them with gasoline. How are you going to start? You said you're going to start with stomping? Uh, well, I can't stomp them while they're on fire with gasoline. I'll hurt myself and set myself on fucking fire. You know they can move. If you're stomping on more than one, it's more than likely if you're trying to stomp on one, you may miss it. Even if you get well, it, the other ones are there to no, do something. No, because I got a can of Raid in each hand, and I'm whooping them around, <laughs> and I'm a stomping like... A flamenco dancer, Jose Greco, over here with my... I'm going to have big cl cloppy clown feet also. So I get two for the price of one stomp, and I'm going to be a stomping, and I'm going to be a spraying, and I'm going to be a whomping, and I'm going to be a spraying. And they'll think it's spider Armageddon by the time I get done. No, Ray. Don't you know they capture bugs? They help keep the bugs out of your house? I don't, I don't have any bugs in my house. Because you got I good spiders. If I had tarantulas in my house, I wouldn't be in my fucking house. What are you afraid the tarantula's going to do? It's going to be here and bite me and live while I die, <laughs> curled up in a corner, sh shivering and shaking in convulsions. No, no, Ray, no, the tarantulas will not be a part of Reggie's corner. I don't know how you can care for a tarantula. What in the fuck are you, are you getting in a fucking haircut from all that hairy fucking back onto the goddamn, Jesus Christ. You can care for anything. Did you have a pet rock in the 70s? Brian, I live in the woods. I had I had tons of pet rocks. I meant the actual gimmick that was sold rocks in stores. And trees and no, actually, I did have one for a short time there. I do not know what happened to that. It was given to me. I did not purchase it. But uh, but no, I had actual living. Someone gifted you a pet, pet rock. Things. Well, that was just something you did back in those days. Yeah, here, take one of these. I don't fucking know why. I didn't ever give anybody a rock. Anyway, and but except Ray's tarantulas. And I've got while I got the big floppy shoes on my feet stomping, and I got both hands floppy full shoes. of raid spraying. <laughs> big floppy shoes. What yeah. kind of shoes are you wearing? I'm wearing big fucking like goddamn snowshoes. 
snowshoes, so I'm stomping all of them spiders, and they're fucking the guts, spider guts everywhere, all over the floor of the Omni, spider guts, and monkey shit. Anyway, um, no tarantulas. All right, where are we at here? This has been Reggie's Corner. Yes. Send your yep. submissions to cornydrythrough at gmail.com. No tarantulas.